we, don't, we teach the original languages, which is very important for, you know, proper interpretation of the scriptures. We teach scriptures, of, we teach scriptures, subjects like biblical hermeneutics, how to interpret the Bible correctly. The Bible is made up of, of so many different types of literature. We have what we call epistles, we have apocalyptic literature, we have, we have prophetic literature, we, we, we have narrative. All that come with special rules for interpretation. Yes. And I, I, you get to learn this in, in, a, in a solid Bible school. Yes. The, 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 I believe that the, the uniqueness we have is that we make the spirit and, and, and the academics together. That's good. You know, the point is that some people go to Bible school and it's all about the theory and the philosophy of religion and all this, but there's no spirit to it. There's no life. If you take away this, the spirit from the word, it's, it becomes lifeless. In 2 Corinthians 3, 6, Paul says, the letter kills, but the, the spirit gives life. Yes. In John 6, 63, Jesus said, the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah. So the two must always be, be merged together. In Acts chapter, ch ch chapter eight, uh, 18, we, we read about a man called Apollos from verse 24. Was, Apollos was mighty in the scriptures and also fervent in the spirit. Yes. The two must go together. And you go to Acts chapter 19, you read from verse 8 about Paul having a, a, a Bible school called the school of Tyrannus. In the New Testament, yes. because some people have said, you know, on, that oh, you don't need to go to Bible school. The Holy Spirit is teaching in your room. Well, I heard that. Uh, I mean, well, when I was a young it. Christian, I heard exactly. Right. I heard it too. Yeah. But the, this is this is just naive. Mm -hmm. You see, don't forget this. The Bible, God is the author of the Scriptures. Mm -hmm. He inspired men who live in a culture. They live in a particular uh, historical period. They, you know, they come with all, all kinds of backgrounds. God didn't dictate the Bible to them mechanically. He gave them a message by inspiration to the Spirit, but they had to write it in their own way. Mm. So we need to study about the culture of, 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 of the time period, the, the history. You know, we call this in, 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 uh, hermeneutical gaps. In other words, the barriers that keep us from understanding the Bible. The, we have what we call the linguistic gap, for instance. If you have not studied Greek or Hebrew, mm. and you are preaching the Bible by reading it only in English, then so many things are missing. That's so there are many things you can't access. Mm. There, there are limits. You have, to, you have to now depend on translators. Mm -hmm. So the translators are liberal theologians who don't have the spirit. They're not even born again. Mm -hmm. So they, they also come to the scripture with their worldview and with their education and training, they interpret. Mm -hmm. Now they interpret from a certain lens, their philosophy. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if he, reads, he, 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 he comes across a scripture that talks about the Holy Spirit, and he doesn't believe in it, he tries to do an amendation. He tries to find you know, a way out of it. Yes. So we need to study these original language for ourselves. Then we have what we call the historical background, the, you know, gap. Because we didn't live in that time period, there are many things that we don't know. We have to do a research. Mm. Well, we have the cultural background. Let me give you an example. You come to John chapter 4. Jesus has an encounter with a woman called uh, the, woman of, of, of the Samaritan woman. Yes. At, at Sy Jacob's well called the well of Sychar. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The woman comes come to the well around midday and, and comes to the well alone. The cultural studies tell, tells you that in that time, time in the ancient Near East, the Middle East, Eastern time, mm. women don't go to the well, the well, the well alone. Right. Neither would they, do they go at noonday. Mm. They go either early in the morning or late in the evening when, mm. when there's, there's no sun. So this was an unusual event. This is unusual. Mm. And because John, who wrote that, the book of John, actually mentioned the time, mm. the 12th hour. Mm. There's a reason why John mentions the time. Always. It's cultural. Yes. Because he, he wants us to get a picture that this is unusual. The woman, does, women don't go alone to the well. So for this woman to be alone, she's stigmatized in society. Mm. And, and that's why she's, she's alone. And that's why she's gone at that time. The time no, most women will not be going. Yeah. And Jesus meets her at her point of need. That's, it's that's significant. Powerful. That's very powerful. If you don't know the cultural background, you, 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 miss, you miss the point. That's so powerful. All these things we'll, we'll teach in the Bible school. You know, that's so powerful. You know, just not go, we're not getting into that now. But we're in 2012. That's right. There's something prophetic in that message, even that you just said. Very prophetic. The number 12. The time. And Correct. The, yes. You oh, know, you just bring it up. Oh, yeah. There's wow, something you're prophetic. <laughs> Praise God. Very prophetic. I've been seeing 12 Praise everywhere God. in Scripture at the moment. Let me, let me go on. Then yes. we have the realm of prophetic ministries. Yes, please. You know, that is a practical aspect of training and equipping mentoring leaders, you know, prophesying to the nations. Yes. You know, I've been traveling to the nations for about 16 years now or so. I've been in so many places. God has used me in so many places. Uh, I, God has used me on a national level. I mean, you know, originally I come from Ghana, West Africa. Yes. I, 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 it's on record. I gave a prophecy about the oil discovery in Ghana and yes. gave the time and the place on, yes. the, on the map mm -hmm. where it was going to happen before it happened. Three months later, it was announced on, 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 on national television. Praise you know, that's the sort of thing. I, I prophesied, you know, about things that in South Africa, about uh, the ANC and how they're going to have splinter groups happen. You get what I'm saying? Now, the prof my call is to demonstrate this prophetic gifting and also raise prophets because one of the giftings that have been abused so much in the body is the office of the prophet. 
There are many people who come up and say, I'm a prophet. But you see, if you take the scripture criteria, they don't qualify. Yes. Because a prophet is not just someone who, gives, who, give, who, who prophesies, mm -hmm. but he's a mature vessel, a mature minister, a man of wisdom and knowledge who can teach and preach at a very high level. Mm -hmm. And also use, is used of the Lord to give words of, 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 of prophecy to individuals, institutions, or nations. Mm -hmm. That is a prophet. Mm -hmm. What do you find today? If somebody has a, a spiritual gift, and there's a vast difference between the gift and the office. Mm -hmm. Bars. Mm -hmm. And when I had a gift in 1980, I entered the office of the prophet 15 years later mm -hmm. after much studying and training. You know, so the Roman prophetic ministry seeks to educate the, the body of Christ mm -hmm. about the true operation of the prophetic office. Right. For instance, if somebody gets a prophecy, how is it, how, what must he do to get the prophecy to come to pass? Because mm -hmm. something is automatic and it's not. Mm -hmm. we, now, we have a school of prophecy and ministry, mm -hmm. right, which is starting on Monday, coming Monday, 6 p.m. at our premises. Right. And uh, we, it's only a three months course. You know, and uh, after this program, they can call me to enroll, or they can come there for a tester class if they want. They can have a, a free lecture for the first day, and, and they can make a decision. And so, is it evenings, weekends? How, how There's a Rama Prophetic Ministries. That school of prophecy is only, only going to be once a week, uh -huh. Monday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., starting on the, on the coming Monday, which is the 9th, yes. I believe, is the 9th April, sorry, 9th January, you know, uh, 6 p.m. But the other school, other Bible school programs run, we have the Masters for Pastors on every Tuesday, 10.30 to 2.30, mm -hmm. once a week. Mm -hmm. One year, they have a, a master's degree endorsed from the United States. Mm -hmm. Solid degree. And then we have the, the PAD starting, you know, uh, 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 Monday, coming Monday. Also, it's going to be Monday mornings, 10.30 to 2.30. Then we have the Master of Divinity, which is Wednesday, 10.30 to 2.30, once a week. And then we have the, the bachelor's program. We have, we have two tracks. A track that runs on Saturday morning, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. A track that runs on Thursday evening, 6, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m., two hours. Now, we have a part-time master's on Saturday afternoon, one to three, and uh, another full-time master's, you know, which also runs on Saturday. I mean, one, we cater for everybody, yes. you know. Let me ask you this. We have viewers all over the world now. Um, do you do distance learning? Oh, that's it was wonderful you brought this in. We have distance learning. Mm -hmm. In other words, if somebody cannot come to the, to, 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 to the Bible college premises, mm -hmm. we send lectures by audio file through the, through the, through e by emails. Mm -hmm. Every lecture we do, we record it, especially the master's level. We record it, so we have... Say we have two months for a course. Every lecture is recorded, and we have textbooks that are prescribed for every course. Mm. So if somebody enrolls anywhere in the world, we, we, we just send it through the, the intern system by email, attachment. The person will download and put it on the CD or listen to lectures, get the, the books. If you have any problems, they can email me at any time. You know, they're in touch with me, you know, 24-7, you know, yes. so to speak. So yes. that is there. And, that, and then we also have an innovative website. We have a technician who will be coming up to demonstrate that. That's right, yeah. You know, we have a school of prophecy and ministry online, the, what we're going to start at the residence on Monday, we have a version on the internet. A person goes to the internet, you know, goes to that website, I think it's Rama Prophetic, uh, Rama Prophetic School dot com. Yes. You know, the technician will talk more about it when it, when it comes up. Yes. You know, they pay with a credit card or their debit card and uh, they pay for the course. Then they, are, they come to a, play, a portal where they can have, we have 20 DVDs, 10 for prophet, prophetic ministry, yes. 10 for ministry. And after the uh, 45 minutes each, we have 900 minutes of lectures yeah. on prophecy and ministry. Now, Dr. Richard, you asked about, you, you mentioned about the, the credit cards. How are the fees? Are they reasonable? The fees are very reasonable. You know, we, we, I think one course is just 300 pounds for the whole course. Uh, that normally lasts for three months. Mm. If they want to do both, it's only 500 pounds for both. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, when they're ready, the, the exam is taken on the website. Right. And then the grades, everything will show. And then we'll just mail them the certificate. Okay. You know, all our programs are very moderate. We don't charge annual fees or semester fees. Right. We charge monthly fees. Right. You know, very flexible, monthly, case by case. If someone has financial problems, we, 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 we have a case by case, you know, kind of consultation to see what we can do for the person. That's fantastic. It's good, it's good to know that um, you're catering for all sorts of people. That's right. Um, one more question uh, before we move on to uh, show your promo again. Okay. Um, can people get a taster class, some kind of a taster class? Oh, yes, yes. yes. Now, all the, all the courses that I've just mentioned, um, we're starting next week, they can come for a lecture, free lecture. You know, they can come. We have one coming up on, on, on Monday evening, right. 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., 9th January. That's for the School of Prophecy and Ministry. Oh, that's great. The first day is an opening day. It's right. free. That's great. They can come free for that day and, and come to have a taste of the teaching. That's fantastic. You know, and then Tuesday, we have the Masters, 10.30 uh, in the morning to 2.30. They can come for free for that lecture. That's you know, as I think right now we're studying biblical hermeneutics, how to interpret the Bible mm. correctly. You know, all through the week, yeah. all, all the, this week, you know, from ninth going to, uh, I mean, coming come to the next week, Saturday, it's going to be free. That's free a, lectures. That's fantastic. Yeah. So if somebody's had on their heart 
that they wanted to go to Bible college, then literally next week they can next come week along. Next week they can come straight away. Sit in, uh, and this could be the moment that yeah. they actually start. Yeah, and they can talk to me, get a brochure, and all things. What well, if they like what they hear and what they see? Then, then we, we, then we, we, we can, we can enroll them, and then they can start the following week. Okay, Doc, Doctor Richard, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to your promo for a little bit. Mm -hmm. We'll bring on your technician. All right. All right. We did show it at the beginning of the program, but perhaps people didn't people know didn't what it was, it right. what it was, or what yeah. it was connected to. Yeah. So let's go to that now. Yeah. Let's bring on your technician, and we'll yeah. talk some more about. Yeah. Oh, about come back. We'll talk about the church base. We're going to talk about Roman Chapel. Of we have a church yeah. base. Of you know, course, we'll, yeah. we'll come. We'll talk about that. We'll r r maybe after the technician comes up. Brilliant. Right. Okay, that's fantastic. Let's go to that break now. Rama Bible College offers great part-time certificate, diploma, and bachelor's courses in Bible and theology on Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings. We also offer part-time and full-time masters in Bible and theology for pastors, Christian leaders, and serious Christians. In addition, there is also the School of Prophecy and Ministry offering certificate in prophetic ministries, certificate in Christian ministry via our on-demand seminars with programs accredited by renowned accreditation agencies in the USA. Rama Bible College offers moderate fees payable on a monthly basis, experienced and academically qualified spirit-filled faculty. So please contact Dr. Richard Oswald Kami on 0208-514-7162 or 07983-332-175 or visit www.ramabiblecollege.org. One year ago, about 21 years ago, one afternoon, I had a voice from heaven. All of them. Now some of us who have been, uh, you know, for, you know, and that